turn my flashlight off. Quit turning my flashlight off on me. This is like the third time I've gone in and tried to record this now, which is hilarious. So we're going to see if it actually works this time. My camera keeps freezing. I don't know why. Anyways, guys, welcome in part two of Infliction, the extended cut. Uh, when we left off, our hero was struggling. We'll say that. It looks like, uh, looks like he's the one at fault for everything. But we won't know for sure until we dive in a little deeper. And honestly, you know, these horror games can go any way. So I guess we'll kind of just wait and see what happens here. And hopefully my camera doesn't keep freezing on me. And that would be nice. We'll see. If not, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I, I still gotta say some of the best visuals in this are just the depth of field. The way that they change the depth of field in this. Okay, so I still got my flashlight. Find a way to vanquish the evil spirit. Okay, that's got nothing for me. Dr. Cow. Hmm. Three, four, two. We got what? Three forty three, looks like. Three forty two, I was close. But what what evil spirit are we trying to vanquish? Because as far as I'm concerned, I'm the bad guy right now. Or that's so it seems. X-Files Season 1. Wait. Game begin. Entertainment system. I mean... Exile gone home adventure series destroyer flash and light we got hit Jungle park made in china white noise exclusive music video included on disc okay spaghetti the bear now there's nothing in here. When we were in here before, there was quite a bit. All the clothes. So she fancies herself a singer. Okay. Bathroom's nothing different now. That definitely wasn't. That wasn't there last time we were in here. The hell is with these noises? Something is swinging out there. Can you guys not hear that? Like these these game noises are just nuts. Baby room go bye bye. Oh no, it's baby blood. It's not creepy at all. I really want to know what's swing. Oh, it's that. Okay. That door's locked. 
I'm almost afraid to go into the master bedroom. Three minutes have passed. The clock actually changed. Nightstand doors are still locked. Closet. Nothing has changed in the closet. God, that chandelier swinging is nerve-wracking. I really don't want to... I really don't want to go downstairs, either. Mostly because I'm already hearing... That's just creepy. I don't know what's worse, not being able to see or the flashing light. It's like, what's, what's down there? I can't stop it from swinging. Smoking. Out. Final notice from Edison Energy. Sarah Pellet. Wait, can I open that? No. Okay, so I, I remember that. I was able to look at that last time and see all the different names. Tragedy had struck Pleasant Fall. A woman was found murdered in her home. She was brutally stabbed over ten times. The victim's name was Sarah Powell. Sarah managed to make a call to 911 before she succumbed to her injuries. The primary suspect of this brutal murder is believed to be her husband, Gary Pout. He was found deceased only mere blocks away, slumped over the steering wheel of his car after a fatal collision with a tree. The murder weapon was found in the car with him, leading investigators to speculate that he crashed his car while fleeing the scene of the crime. The couple had a daughter believed to be 19 years of age, but police have been unsuccessful in tracking her down. If anyone knows the location, please contact Pleasant Falls PD immediately. It is also believed that Sarah has been a victim to domestic abuse. If you or someone you know is suffering from domestic abuse, get help before it's too late. Shower for Kylie Glenn. There's a 
false market. No, let me see the back of it. Nothing, just flip it. Okay. Nope, there's another envelope in there. Okay, I can't grab that envelope. For Heidi, never give up on your dreams. Tabletop game, good versus evil. This game, okay. Cerberus, Siphon. seeing anything in there that's going to give it away for what I can do. Let's go up for ceremony. You need to determine if it was good or evil. This profiling is to explain to the group. Once players explain their theory, the DM must explain theirs. All players will deliberate and who decides who is victorious in the battle of minds. In the event only two people are playing, the DM will always have the last say. Attributes of each enemy is outlined in the DM book. Enough talk. Get out there. There's some dungeons. Okay. But it gives me all this. But it doesn't give me anything else to go with. So is there another book I gotta find? What's her point? What, what was that? I'm just gonna open every cupboard. Can't surprise me by opening shit if I've already got it all open. I need dead, so who cares about the energy bill? A couple of the photos are missing too. A couple of the photos that were there, anyways. I don't know. Okay. My thoughts are dark, black as night, life is sparse, a total absence of light. When it's over, come find me there, a broken soul, I belong nowhere. Better today. Uh, June 6th, 1999. My hands are shaking as I write this. Maggie's gone. Michael's gone. And Gary's gone too. At least the man I love is. It's just me and the monster living inside Gary. And the beatings are getting worse and I'm running out of excuses. I'm so tired. The lady next door came over yesterday. She must have heard something. She urged me to call the police, but I just can't do it. I love Gary so much. He's never gotten over my believing it. This to be an and he blames game. me. And maybe it is my fault. All he does is drink, locked in that basement day and night reading those weird books. He's so unhinged now. What do I do? I can't abandon him. I know Gary's in there somewhere, and I'll be right here when he surfaces again. Fuck, this is so hard. Okay, so I gotta get, I gotta find my way in. Well, I was gonna say, I gotta... Turning my flashlight off on me. Um, what? Give me my flashlight. Wait. Well, that wasn't there before either. That's locked now. That's locked now.
Jesus, fuck. I look in the mirror and I see only a husk. Okay. So it looks like I don't have a choice but to go in the garage. You dumb hoe! All these. That's a. Um... I gotta find the keys to get in there. That must be the basement. What's he drinking? Ox beer. Looks a lot like Foster's. That's Ozzy. Okay. It wouldn't let me go back that way. I locked this door. So there's, there's got to be something in here. In here, and all I see is a husk. There's a shadow moving right there. We're gonna stop right there. Today. You guys wanna know what happens in the basement? Well, if you wanna know what happens in the basement, then you gotta come back on Tuesday and find out. I know, it's so rough. It's so rough. Tuesday. Tuesday, we'll figure out what's going on in the basement. You guys have yourselves a good night. Mm -hmm.